even though the price of XRP Ripple has dropped a huge amount, things going on in the background point to the start of a bull market, what's going on? The SEC's case against Ripple in court will soon be over. Some experts say that the price of Ripple's XRP could go up by a huge 60,000%. There is no way to stop this. What kind of case are experts making, though? Don't worry, this video has all the answers. Allow me to explain. Nota bene, in the Ripple XRP case, which is still going on, it's not always easy to see things clearly, and the value of digital currencies changes all the time. Recent evade things have made things even more mysterious, making people in the XRP community both excited and confused. Let's look into the newest events and sort through the noise to find the truth. First, there was a lot of talk about a supposed settlement meeting that was set for April 16th. Many people thought this could be a turning point in the case between Ripple and the SEC. But the plan got more complicated when Ashley Prosper made an important correction. Despite what some people thought at the time, there was no such settlement meeting planned. People in the community were filled with hope when they heard false information, but their hopes were dashed by the cold seas of reality. The open event of 500 million XRP, which is about $300 million on April 1st, made people even more interested in the idea. But it turned out that even this was a case of wrong expectations. After it was made clear that the unlock wasn't part of a bigger plan, everyone was clear. But rather a simple mistake in the release plan. In the midst of all this false information and broken dreams, one question still stands out. What does this mean for the case? Even though there wasn't a deal on April 16th, I still think the end is near. Why? Since Ripple is strong even when things go wrong. The CC has a history of setbacks, which supports this view even more. They handle the storm of legal scrutiny with steely resolve. From the fact that the Second Circuit turned down their claim of financial loss to Ripple's planned steps to comply with regulations, uh, the defendant's case seems to be getting stronger. Rob Grant who is Vice President of Global Affairs at Ripple, says it best Ripple has already won. What does this mean for people who own XRP, though? There's more going on than just a court case. There is a fight going on for the future of decentralized banking. This story has many twists and turns that affect not only Ripple, but also the whole crypto world. A positive conclusion could lead to more new ideas and widespread use. Um, progress could be slowed down by a long legal fight. As the fight between Ripple and the SEC continues to play out, things are getting very tense. As the story goes on, the stakes keep going up and the story keeps moving forward. Uh, but what really interests me is how panicked the SEC seems to be and how Ripple is responding strategically. The investors are on the edge of their seats, eagerly expecting how this high-stakes battle will end. Join us as we look into the SEC's last-ditch efforts, where their pain turns into our joy. We promise that you will not want to miss a single moment of this exciting story. In the middle of a legal mess with the SEC, Ripple took a risk by announcing the creation of a stablecoin. This was a smart move, given the regulatory uncertainty surrounding digital assets. Not only does this strategy move show that Ripple is flexible, but it also shows that it is committed to innovation, even when things go wrong. Uh, but Ripple is important in more ways than just its legal fights. It has become a model for others in the crypto business to follow in standing up to overreaching government rules. Uh, it sends a strong message to the whole crypto community that the company won't back down in the face of the SEC's claims. It's not pointless to fight back. Coinbase, another big name in crypto that is in a legal fight with the SEC, is going through a lot of the same problems that Ripple is. There is a lot of attention on both businesses from regulators. Face claims that they broke securities laws. They are both determined, though, to fight the SEC's claims and defend their own views in court. As the Ripple story goes on, everyone is waiting to see what the SEC does next and what that might mean for the whole crypto space. The community was shocked by the Wells warning that was sent to Uniswap, which is the biggest decentralized exchange in the world. The steps of the SEC against Uniswap have important effects, and not just for the business, but for the whole ecosystem of decentralized banking. How regulators handle decentralized platforms and the crypto business as a whole could be affected by how this court case turns out. If the CC tries to control and oppose projects like Uniswap, will it succeed? If not, will it fail again, showing that the crypto space is dealing with legal uncertainty? One thing is clear, these changes are having ripple effects that are still being felt across the business. Regulating cryptocurrencies in the future is still up in the air. This is a very important game of regulatory poker, and the result could change the whole crypto landscape for years to come. The legal fight between Ripple and the SEC is still going strong, and things are getting ready for a dramatic end that could change the whole cryptocurrency industry. Though there is a lot of drama in the courts and regulatory wrangling, there are rumors that something else is going on behind the scenes. Large-scale partnerships are slowly coming together behind closed doors, preparing the way for Ripple's triumphant return to the spotlight. We promise that you will not want to miss a single moment of this exciting story. Cross-border payments are always changing, and Ripple has become a radical force that is shaking things up and getting attention from places you might not expect. Bank of America recently released a report that talks about Ripple's effects in the Asia-Pacific region. The study recognizes that the company has the potential to completely change how we send money between countries. Bank of America says in the study called Breaking New Ground, Harnessing Payments Innovation in APAC, that Ripple is an exception when it comes to blockchain-powered cross-border payments. 
Blockchain technology hasn't been very useful in this area so far, but Ripple stands out as a possible game changer. S. Venkat, Head of Treasury Products, APAC at Bank of America, says that APIs are making real-time payments more popular by making it easier for people to meet and do business. Venkat talks about the move to open banking and how APIs are used to help the government make decisions and share information quickly. Ripple's answers, on the other hand, give us hope for a more efficient and clear future, even though fast and cross-border payments are still the norm. Bank of America agrees that Ripple has the ability to change things and make way for new payment options. A lot of talk has been going on about Ripple's relationship with Bank of America. There were rumors going around about the type and scope of their work together. The partnership was revealed by Julie Harris, head of global banking at Bank of America, on an episode of the bank's Treasury Insights podcast in April 2020. Uh, however, details are still being kept secret. Harris said that the bank was dedicated to giving people cutting-edge options and named Ripple as an important partner in this effort. Ripple is still committed to its goal of changing the way payments are made around the world, even though it is facing ongoing legal fights and close scrutiny from regulators. Uh, in his speech at the Ripple Swell 2022 conference, CEO Brad Garlinghouse emphasized how Bank of America could gain a competitive edge from Ripple's on-demand liquidity offering once regulatory issues are resolved. As the story of Ripple and its native digital asset XRP continues to play, major changes in the market have put many investors on edge. The price of XRP has gone up and down a lot, which worries both enthusiasts and professionals. There is, however, a glimmer of hope, a prediction that will go against all assumptions and shake the crypto world to its core. You won't want to miss what's next, trust us. In the volatile world of cryptocurrencies, XRP, Ripple's own digital currency gets more attention and speculation than almost any other asset. Even though the market goes up and down, one analyst's bold prediction has buyers excited again. Javan Marx, who is known for his sharp scientific analysis, has changed his mind about how much XRP will cost, citing strong similarities with past price trends. Marx is still sure that the price of XRP is going to go up a lot, even though the market has been very unstable lately. His analysis, which is based on careful charts and historical references, draws an interesting picture of where XRP could go. Marx points out an important resistance break on the 18-day chart, which is a turning point similar to how prices have moved in the past. But Marx's prediction is based on more than just recent events. He points out an interesting past parallel, a downtrend line that used to limit the price movement of XRP. Similar to the time period from late 2013 to early 2017, XRP is now at a possible turning point and is ready to break out. What caused this possible turnabout? A major decision in favor of Ripple in the well-known XRP lawsuit, which shocked the market and quickly sent XRP to 93 cents. And there was a correction after that, but XRP has now broken through the downtrend line again, which is buyers excited. On a logarithmic chart, Marx's research shows a possible scenario. XRP's price could go up by as much as 61,000%, reaching an unbelievable $288. Not only would such a jump be unbelievable, but it would also make XRP a strong competitor in the world of digital currencies worth more than gold in terms of market value. Even though